One of the main objectives of the division is to think about the future of entertainment. What new technologies, what interactive media can do to help us literally step through the screen. We're organized around three main themes. Uh, game design, mobile media, and immersive media. We're interested in games as an art form here, as an expressive form. We're not just interested in games the way that they've been designed and distributed uh, up until this time. We break games down into several different sets of design problems. That is their formal system, things like the underlying uh, mechanics and mathematics, of the, of the games, uh, the dramatic systems, which are things that create the emotional attachment for the player. Things like character and story uh, and challenge. Um, and then game dynamics, which we do a lot of testing on. So early, early on, we encourage students to create rough prototypes of their designs, bring in, uh, in players, and uh, play test the dynamic elements of their game, and then incorporate that feedback and iterate on it as they, as they go through the design process and perfect how their game experience is, uh, is playing out. Mobile media has far more applications for society than its intended purposes of being a phone or a laptop computer. There are social networking applications, there are um, social activist and organizational applications, there are new cultural implications as far as being able to send things in real time anywhere. The types of mobile media projects that the students and faculty are working on tend to deal with storytelling or with uh, data visualization of the real world versus the virtual world. So we're able to merge those two environments together through mobile media like we haven't been able to do before. Before immersive media, if you wanted to feel like you were really inside of a story or some kind of media experience, you projected yourself into it. Now, with immersive media, the media can project itself out and surround us. I can name a few areas that we're focusing on. One is the use of cameras in conjunction with projectors and other kinds of displays. Once you put a camera with a projector, you can make something called a smart projector, where the projector actually looks at what it's projecting on, analyzes it, and adjusts the projection based on what it sees. We're also looking at how you actually use live camera input of different spaces, outside, other spaces, network spaces, and you use that camera input to create an, a real-time immersive environment. And then we're looking at more traditional virtual reality displays and where they can go. Every year we have a different mix of students in the class, but generally we have a good balance of students with very strong technical skills with students who tend to have a more uh, strong design or art background. Often we're seeing students now with a combination of those, uh, multiple interests, multiple passions. I graduated in the class of 2006 from the College of Letters, Arts and Sciences. I majored in East Asian Languages and Cultures and came out with a minor in Video Game Design and Management. I've loved games all of my life. I've played them since I was a little kid. Um, but until I came to USC and started working with the game programs, I never thought that I could actually do it. I'm trying to find a place where I can combine my interests in both engineering, you know, art, and also creativity. The major thing that I want to change is the variety of, the, of this media. Because if you look at the current video game media, the content is very limited. The, the range of the emotional experience the video game can convey is kind of constrained in this very narrow area. Which Cloud is a game that experiment to see whether or not we can make a video game about relaxing, you know, a game about imagination and, and meditation. One of our objectives is for students to leave here with a very strong sense of teamwork, certainly storytelling capabilities, but we want them to come out able to literally start their own studio. We want them to be entrepreneurial. Electronic Arts has a strong bias to recruiting young people from university. What we found is people from university have demonstrated discipline, but in addition, they've had exposure through education to uh, uh, broad subjects. One of the most exciting aspects of this program are all the unpredicted and unexpected uses for these new technologies that our students are discovering.
Games, mobile media, and immersive media are changing and transforming so quickly that it's impossible to predict where they'll go in the future. But one thing that's certain, the experiences provided by interactive media will have a profound impact on the way we entertain, educate, and express ourselves for generations to come.